Hi guys, my name is Bob. In this video, I am going to show you how to uh, find the Maclaurin series of secant square x up to the x to the power 4 term using the top right hand uh, corners equation. So the top right hand corners equation is showing that the function can be expressed as an infinite series called the Maclaurin series. All right. Uh, so we what we are going to do we are actually going to use the top right hand corner to express our secant square x as an infinite series uh, first thing that we need to find is that we need to find what is my f zero and my f prime zero and my f double prime zero and f triple prime zero and f four primes zero so in order to find all of this all right we need to differentiate uh, secant square x uh, by one time and two time three time and four time pardon my English all right so the f prime x in this case is actually just two uh, secant x uh, and then we differentiate the secant x we know that the differentiation of secant x is actually two secant x uh, secant x tangent x uh, in which when we simplify it's just 2 secant uh, square x tangent x all right and my f double prime x we continue from here so basically we have to use the product rule all right so so 2 secant square x tangent x okay let me just uh, backtrack a bit okay so basically this is equivalent to 2 secant square x and differentiate with respect to x of uh, tangent x plus 2 tangent x uh, we differentiate with respect to x of uh, secant square x okay it's going to be really long uh, this this uh, problem so this is equivalent to 2 secant square x okay uh, and then the differentiation of tangent x is secant square x plus 2 tangent x and we differentiate secant square x as uh, above you know, our f prime x is actually just 2 secant square x uh, tangent x so we make it looks nicer so we get 2 secant x to a power of 4 x plus um, 4 tangent square x secant square x and then we will use the trigonometry identity that uh, tangent square x is equals to secant square x uh, minus 1 so this is a trigo identity and then from here when we evaluate we will get the final answer which is 6 secant to the power of 4x minus 4 secant square x um, and this is also equivalent to if we were to treat you know the secant square x as y so this is a f double prime x is also equivalent to 6y minus 6y square minus 4y okay and why do I change it to y is because uh, from the next part which is to find the f triple prime x it will be much easier we can just straight away use the y okay and uh, we know that uh, 6 when we differentiate we expect to x of 6y square we are doing implicit differentiation so we will get a 12y uh, dy dx uh, and then subtracting away 4 uh, dy dx okay so that is my f triple prime x and last but not least my f uh, 4 prime x okay is equals to so that means for the first term uh, we have to do the product rule differentiation so we will get uh, 12y uh, differentiate with respect to x of dy dx okay plus um, 12 dy dx 
okay so this is y uh, and differentiate with respect to x of y minus the wave 4 um, differentiate with respect to x of uh, dy over dx okay just make it clear and then we will get 12y uh, d2y over dx squared plus 12 um, dy over dx the whole thing square subtracting away for um, d2y over dx squared okay so now we have the following four uh, actually five functions in which we need for uh, to build our Macquarie series for the second square x so now we need to evaluate uh, the function at x is equal to 0 so for the first uh, function with the function of 0 is just basically substituting x is equal to 0 so we know that um, secant square x is also equal to 1 over cosine square x so we know that cosine x is no, cosine 0 is equals to 1. So it's just basically 1 over 1 square is equals to 1. So next one, my f prime 0. How do we evaluate the, uh, the f prime x at x is equals to 0? So we just substitute x is equals to 0 into the function. We will get 2 uh, times 1 over, uh, well, 1 square uh, but tangent x tangent 0 is basically 0 so basically my f prime 0 is just 0 moving on to the f double prime x um, we just basically substitute y uh, which is equals to 1 into my 6y square minus 4y so actually it's just 6 1 square minus 4 times 1 this gives us 2 d3y over dx square basically is simply just zero. The reason is because my dy dx is zero and then uh, for both of the terms, uh, it has dy dx. So when you evaluate it, you know, my f triple prime zero is just basically zero. And last but not least, my f double, uh, four prime zero, okay, basically is equivalent to, if you were to look at this, okay, this part here, there's my f double prime x we substitute um, uh, all the equations to 12 uh, times y y is equals to 1 d2 y over dx square which is uh, my f double prime 0 is 2 okay plus 12 times dy dx we know that is uh, f prime x okay this is 0 okay subtracting away for the 2y over dx square is 2 so we get basically just um, 16 all right and last but not least uh, we we can actually if we can actually express my function secant square x okay as the uh maclaurin series approximated up to the x to the power of 4 term so this is equivalent to f0 is 1 plus x times f prime 0 is 0 okay plus x square so x square is just x square as it is the over 2 factor f double prime 0 is 2 um, so we have 2 here and then uh, plus x cube over 3 factorial um, my f triple prime zero is zero plus my last term will be x to the power of four over four factorial um, 16 okay and that's about it and then this is equivalent to one plus x square plus two thirds x to the power of four all right this will be the final answer uh, of the 
uh, approximation of secant square x using the Maclaurin series. If you do like this, unsuppress the like button and don't forget to uh, help us by liking this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.